Hey Aries, welcome to my channel, Baddest and Intuitive Tarot. I hope you guys are all doing amazing out there. In today's reading, I'm taking a peek into your romantic love life for the week of August 2023. I'm going to pull for you a seven card spread to take a look at who you're dealing with around this time romantically. I'll take a look at how they feel about you currently, get their intentions with you, take a look at their behavior towards you, and I'll also be diving into what's in your blind spot with this person, meaning what could be negatively impacting the connection that you may not even be aware of is even happening. Whether you're doing something to sabotage it unbeknownst to yourself, or your person is, or something or someone external to the two of you seems to not want you guys to be together for whatever reason and is working overtime to pull you guys apart. If that's the case, I will do my best to find out why or what it could be, followed by your advice in today's reading, so let's get nosy. Spirit, please connect me to the zodiac sign of Aries today, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placements. Who's coming towards Aries with romantic intentions and can Aries trust this person? Aries, love, August 2023. What is their tarot message, please? Seven card spread, Aries, August 2023. Love, what is their tarot message, please? Two more shuffles. One and two. Let's rock this deck for my awesome Aries. Okay, so the person you're connecting to around this time, how do they feel about you deep down? We have the Empress. Whoa, you can't get any better than the Empress for how someone feels about you. Regardless of your gender, this person feels like you are just this loving, loving person. Um, they may already be fully in love with you or those feelings are still developing, but they're getting ready to be born very, very soon, depending on the stage you're in with this person. If this is someone brand new in your life, th those feelings are developing and they're getting ready to be shared with you very soon. But if this is someone that you've already known for a while, they love you. They love you unconditionally, okay? And that number three in numerology talks about creating something. They feel like you guys are creating something beautiful. They can sense that any day now, something beautiful is gonna happen between the two of you and all those emotions are gonna gush out. <laughs> Could be a Libra you're connecting to or a Taurus. What's their true intentions with you? The Six of Swords, Libra energy. Now the Six of Swords as intentions, that's the energy of I intend to not rock this boat with Aries. I wanna keep the peace. I don't wanna aggravate Aries. I don't wanna irritate Aries. Whatever annoys Aries, I'm gonna do the opposite. <laughs> that's, that's the Six of Swords as intentions for me because what goes before the Six of Swords is the Five of Swords. And we all know the Five of Swords in tarot speaks of conflict, fighting, disagreement, you know, just a lot of stress. And the Six of Swords is the energy of wanting to be anywhere but there. So this person intends to keep the peace because they feel like you are a very loving person. They don't want to add any stress to your life. That's the last thing you want to do to an empress, regardless of your gender. The last thing you want to do is add stress to someone that is, you know, very loving and sweet. And for some of you, if you're with child or they are, someone's trying their best not to, you know, add stress to someone because of the condition that they're in. Okay, that's not gonna resonate with everybody, so that's just for somebody out there. Um, if you live at a distance from this person, Aries, uh, this person intends to visit you, okay, because this shows me someone signing a passport, getting an airplane ticket, there's some luggage right here. So if you are at a distance, they're intending to come visit you, but they need to prepare, they need to develop their plan, okay? But if this is not someone that's at a distance, uh, they do want to move on from any stress or anything that could, you know, hurt the relationship. All right, a lot of Libra and energy, and we are still in Venus in retrograde, um, which Libra in Taurus is ruled by Venus, which brings a lot of relationships to the forefront where a lot of people are trying to figure out, do we have more to learn from this relationship? Or is this where we stop growing from each other and move on? Or do we continue learning from each other? And sometimes Venus in retrograde will bring back an ex. So if you did have some conflict with somebody, Aries, uh, they intend to come back and restore peace in the relationship, but they are still planning something, still doing the preparation work, still developing a, a plan. Now, what's their behavior towards you? Four of Pentacles, they're playing it safe with you. I keep on getting the energy of, I'm not rocking this freaking boat, I'm gonna play it safe. I value Aries, I value what we have, I don't wanna screw it up. Some of you guys could be an Aries Taurus Cusper, because I'm getting a lot of Taurian energy. Um, 
and if not, no worries. But I am getting somebody here whose behavior is playing it safe. They don't want to upset you in any way. They're trying to uh, win you over or to continue getting that love and attention from you. Because when you feel the Empress for somebody, that's the energy of feeling like you're being nurtured, feeling like you're being welcomed with a lot of love and attention. And you, once you get a taste of that, you don't want to lose it. You know, anybody in their right mind would love to be around people that love them, that nurture them and care for them. You know, it's human nature to want to feel loved by somebody, you know. So someone is protecting this relationship. However, the Four of Pentacles as behavior also tells me that they may be too controlling in the situation where they're not really going with the flow. Because the Four of Pentacles is telling me that they may be also in a scarcity mindset where they feel like any false move and you're gonna be done with them. That's a scarcity mindset and they can't do that. They have to go into this relationship feeling confident, feeling like whatever's for me is for my highest good. If Aries is meant to be, it'll happen naturally. Forcing the narr narrative is coming from a lack mindset so they may feel like you know your your relationship together may be on thin ice to where they have to be good otherwise you guys might break up I mean the Empress's counterpart is Emperor that's you so how do you feel about this person the two of Pentacles you feel like you and this person could really work together nicely you may still be trying to weigh out the pros and cons with this person. You may not be quite sold on what's going on with them. Whether you guys had a fallout or, or, or just not agreeing on things, you're still weighing out the pros and cons. But the art depiction tells me that you feel like you and this person could really have something balanced together, okay? Um, because I see your person's hand, I see your hand, and it's working together nicely, okay? Alright, so what's in the blind spot? What could hurt this relationship that you may not see? The Four of Swords, somebody's crappy communication behavior. <laughs> because the Four of Swords is my no contact card. The Four of Swords is my separation card. The Four of Swords is my rest and recovery card. But when it's in the blind spot, it's telling me that... Um, uh, it's telling me that someone might wait until it's too late to say when they're stressed about something and then the tower happens. Do you know how when you suppress your emotions and you just push those emotions down, um, eventually it's like a ticking time bomb where any little thing is just going to set someone off and make them pop off? That's what it feels like. Because if this person's playing it safe with you, that means that they're not being authentic with you. That means that they feel like they, they, that they have to keep certain things to themselves to not upset this relationship but after a while that's going to build into resentment where one little thing and this person's going to be like you know what i don't want to talk to you again i'm going no contact and boom someone blocks the other person so this may not even have happened or it has happened if it has not happened this is a warning to prepare that if you sense that someone is holding back because they're trying to keep everything hunky-dory um, communicate with this person talk to them be like look um, is there anything about this relationship that's upsetting you or is there something you want to talk to me about that we can work out together I'm getting kind of the sense that you're you're saying everything is fine but is it fine I don't know about you, when a woman says, I'm fine, it, it, she's not fine. <laughs> she's not fine. Um, so I feel like somebody here is trying to play it safe and not rock the boat, but it's going to cause a lot of built up tension where someone might go ghost and go no contact without any notice because they've suppressed it so long. Um, always be open with your partner. What's the weekly outcome? Seven of Pentacles. Seven of Pentacles is the energy of waiting on an investment, uh, reevaluating a relationship, wanting to see something pan out. Somebody here wants all their fruits of their labor to be harvested. It's telling me that this person is saying, Badison, all the energy I put into Aries, I really want it to amount to something. I want it to yield results. But what if it's not ready yet? Because I'm looking at somebody checking the internal temperature of those cupcakes and there's raw cupcake batter on that toothpick telling somebody that the internal temperature is not ready yet. Something's not ready to come out. If it comes out too soon, there could be some complications. So someone's being patient to keep something in that oven a little bit longer so that when it comes out, it's, you know, in its best 
you know health or you know it's best for all above so someone here may feel like they're not ready to express their true feelings they're trying to figure it out before expressing themselves so there's something your person may want to say to you or you want to say to them that maybe they feel like it's not ready to, to be expressed but if they hold it in any longer um, it might turn into an argument right if there's like something minor that is annoying you about this person don't hold off but you know and wait for it to be bigger because i feel like there's a, a impending power it's like feeling those tremors before an earthquake is what it's feeling like to me in this reading what's your advice six of cups your advice this week aries is to reflect on the past with this person with old relationships down to your childhood and ask yourself are you repeating the same past patterns are you learning from the past or do you think this person is reminding you of situations from your past that you feel like you're already done learning from the six of cups is also my venus and retrograde card which could also be telling me that you do have this person coming back around this week that you've already been in no contact with and they're trying to work out a reconciliation with you and you're being guided to reflect on the past with this person and weigh out the pros and cons and ask yourself is this person for my highest good or is this person just going to be an anchor to my well-being and drag me down you know you're in this energy of Badison, my person's coming back around and they're doing all the right things, saying all the right things, but are they? Or are they holding back their true authentic self to not, you know, disrupt the possible chance of a reconciliation? It's like being on your 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 best, you know, being on your good toes or whatever that saying is. It's like trying not to upset somebody because you want them so badly but suppressing emotions is not good for anybody what's the overall energy for the connection the queen of pentacles for some of you this relationship is being mended so this is someone that you may have already had a separation with or went no contact with four of swords because the four of swords comes after the three of swords which is all about heartache you know separations things like that and they're wanting to resolve something but if this is someone that you've never been in a relationship with and there is no reason for a separation or re reconciliation this is someone that likes you a lot likes you a lot maybe even loves you if this has been around for a while and they don't want to piss you off okay i mean the six of swords feels like a people pleaser could be a, a, a Libra you're connecting to. A lot of Librans right now are learning how to put themselves first and not put others above them, especially if someone has Libra in their Pluto placement. All right, so let's dig in, Aries. Your person's feeling for you around this time is the Empress. If you're a mom, they feel like you are a great mom. Why the Empress? Ace of Swords and the Strength card. So the, the strength card is all about strength. It's all about confidence. It's all about being loyal to somebody because this is Leo energy and Leo rules the heart. Someone feels loyal to you, Aries, and they want they want to speak the truth to you. They want to, you know, communicate in a way that's effective for you guys, Ace of Swords, because they, they value you, Empress energy again. So the Empress came out two times for how they feel about you. That's that's strong. They feel like you are their divine partner, okay? and three of the number three is the empress plus the other three that's six 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 is the number of the lover's card six is the number of balance and and harmony and you know relationships so i do feel like this is someone that may hold back bite their tongue what they really want to say to you with the strength card to not upset you because if you look at the traditional right away tarot deck um, of the empress card aries you'll see the empress taming that lion taming his primal instincts you know so someone's primal instincts is to say something to you but they're holding back because they don't want to rock the boat they don't want to tick you off um, they want to play nice whether you guys just recently reconciled or you are new and they're like whoa aries is freaking cool i do not want to i don't want to screw this up you know let's find out how you feel about them your feelings for them aries is the two of pentacles why the two of pentacles you you may feel undecided about this person why the two of pentacles why the two of pentacles Page of swords in reverse you're stalking them 
<laughs> it's okay, we all do that. Um, the Page of Swords in Reverse is my watching a lot of tarot reading cards, or watching a lot of tarot readings card. Uh, the Page of Swords in Reverse is you watching their social media, um, just making sure they're, that they're up on the up and up with you. Um, if this is someone new in your life, you're curious about them to the point where you're intrigued and watching everything about them just to, to learn more about them because you're excited and you're you're trying to weigh out the pros and cons. And if this is someone that you were in a separation with, you have been watching a lot of tarot readings, trying to understand what's going on with the situation and try to make sense of it all. We all have been there. You're very, very attracted to this person, Aries. You want this person. You do. So, you both are like in a conundrum. Uh, you both really want to be with each other, um, but you both are going about it in a way where it shows me that you guys are fearful of opening up with each other and talking to each other about what's going on, what you both are fearing, what you both are insecure about in regards to the relationship. And that's the Four of Swords in the blind spot. You know, the Four of Swords in the blind spot is not communicating clearly with each other to where you guys can overcome some obstacles together, okay? All right, so why is the Six of Swords this person's intentions with you, Aries? Tell me about the Six of Swords, please. Yeah. The Knight of Swords and then the Five of Cups is right here. Yeah, for some of you, you guys are like reconciling with somebody, possibly a water sign or an air sign. But if not, I do feel like you got somebody here that's got some sorrow from their past Five of Cups and they're trying not to like tick you off. Look at this, look at the body language. You may be dealing with somebody, Aries, who in a recent relationship was treated like this. Picture your person, the bird. Your person is the bird, that unsuspecting bird. And maybe their past relationship was this, you know, aggressive cat. And they're still dealing with the sadness and the loss and the trauma from this person to where they might feel like they have to tiptoe around you to not get the same reaction. Now, if this is someone that you were in a relationship with or had some challenges in the past, they might feel like if they do communicate with you about their feelings, it's going to tick you off whether they've seen your temper or whether they just fear you reacting that way, they're scared. They don't want to, uh, uh, you know, aggravate you, okay? Again, it's not saying that you've got the temper or anything like that, but they are telling me that this person's got some trauma uh, connected to their past. I don't feel like it's you because why would they come up as the empress twice for how they feel about you if they felt like you were the aggressor? No, I'm strongly getting somebody here that may have dealt with a past relationship where they they could never do anything right. They couldn't say anything right. They couldn't do nothing right. It was just like your fault, your fault, your fault. And this person may have some PTSD from that. Always thinking that they were in the wrong. You know, th that could be the other thing that's telling me what could be hurting this relationship. Someone hasn't recovered from a past trauma with the four of swords. And that might also be you too, Aries, because your advice is the Six of Cups. You both may be mirroring each other to the point where you both had past relationships down to possibly your childhood where you couldn't say anything without getting yelled at or say anything without being told to shut up or say anything without being told, nope, you're wrong, that's it, nothing else to talk about and no one would hear your side of the situation. So maybe that's why you're watching this person like a hawk to make sure that they are who they say that they are and then that they're not going to be someone that's going to hurt you, right? Because you're excited about something. Um, someone here might have Chiron in their um, fifth house. I mean, uh, Chiron, a Taurus and Chiron, excuse me. That was a, a verbal typo. Someone might have Chiron in, their, in Taurus. Because um, I'm strongly getting somebody here that may have grown up in an environment where they would be abandoned for being themselves. Like, I don't know, felt unlovable. All right, so why is the Four of Swords? What could be negatively impacting this connection? The Hermit and the Queen of Cups and the Three of Cups. Now, the Hermit, as what could be hurting this relationship is that someone just shuts down when they get upset or when they feel hurt, um, will either go quiet for days at a time or just 
during an argument might run to their bedroom door, slam it shut and just hide for a few days and act very emotional, Queen of Cups. Because when it's in the blockage position, when I read the challenge position of what could be hurting the relationship, I read the energy in reverse. All right, and the Queen of Cups in reverse is someone very emotional. Um, the Hermit in reverse can at times be someone that goes in hermit mode for days at a time not just a regular hey i need a couple days to myself it's you know agoraphobia uh, agoraphobia almost sometimes the hermit in reverse can be the energy of coming out of hermit mode but based off of the surrounding energy it tells me that there's someone here that instead of expressing their true feelings will just shut down somebody and go quiet for days at a time or go no contact or separate from someone very emotionally um, and then a couple days later be like why did i do that why did i push that person away i don't want to lose them why didn't I tell them how I was feeling? Why wasn't I honest about what was going on? We could have worked through it together. Instead, I just went no contact. You know, it's kind of like um, telling me that somebody here might be avoidant attachment um, in their relationships and someone might be anxious attachment in their relationships, but simultaneously had like the similar upbringing, but handling their childhood in different ways. I'm strongly getting childhood trauma for the both of you, but only take it if it resonates. I'm strongly getting somebody here that is dealing with someone avoidant, avoidant of expressing their true feelings when they get scared. Um, it's like they don't want to upset you, so they don't express their self and they just disappear instead of dealing with those emotions head on or, or the both of you do this. Um, communication is going to be the downfall of this relationship if it's not dealt with with that four of swords. I feel like the weekly outcome is you guys reevaluating the relationship, seven of pentacles, reflecting on your past, six of cups, um, to protect the relationship, okay? Nobody should have to uh, be something that they're not to not upset somebody, all right? So their behavior towards you is the four of pentacles. They, they're playing it safe. It's like that, it reminds me of that kid that, you know, is going to be getting all the good grades, cleaning their bedroom to not make mom and dad upset when they were a good kid anyway. Just mom and dad didn't know how to deal with their emotions and projected onto the kid. That's what I'm strongly getting. It's breaking my heart. You both feel like you've dealt with some hardships and I'm sorry for it. Why the four of pentacles? The chariot, they want to move forward with you, okay? This is someone that wants to protect the relationship and move forward with you. They don't want anything insignificant or anything minor to get in the way. Um, but it, I'm, I'm strongly getting this person saying to me, I am not going to let the, the littlest thing, up, you know, break us up. I can't. I can't allow it. But at the same token, the littlest things that are annoyances can turn into bigger ones if they're not dealt with head on. Okay, this person is feeling very burdened about something Ten of Wands. They want to express their true self to you because they care about you. They're telling me that you're not the one that did anything wrong. But they're telling me that they're fearing doing something wrong because of what they've already dealt with in their past is what it feels like to me. So, the weekly outcome is the Seven of Pentacles. I mean... And you and your person sound very sweet. You both feel to me like sweet souls, sensitive souls that were surrounded by some narcissists or surrounded by people who needed to work on themselves. And because they didn't work on themselves, it affected you guys greatly. And I feel like there were some lessons here. Why the Seven of Pentacles? Ace of Cups. The Emperor. The Emperor is you. Being in full control of your emotions, full control of what you want, and talking to this person openly and honestly from your heart chakra about what they make you feel, what you want in the relationship, where you guys can actually work together as a team. I feel like you guys are very sweet people that just were, you know, connecting with the wrong people in the past and you guys found each other, but you both are helping each other heal from something or you guys are triggering each other to heal from some stuff. Your advice, Aries, is the Six of Cups. This reading got deep. Why the Six of Cups? And this was supposed to be a short check-in. Oops. Why the Six of Cups? Temperance. Restoring peace and balance. Restoring uh, a lot of... Regulating one's emotions, it's, it's healing, it's overcoming any obstacles from your past, and there's a rainbow. Unfinished business with this person.
the world in reverse. You and this person have had a past life together and you guys are finishing some past life karma um, around this time. Doesn't mean you're not meant to be together for the rest of your lives and it doesn't mean that you're supposed to be together for the rest of your lives. All it's telling me is this is a past life soulmate between you and this person and you guys have unfinished business to resolve with the world in reverse and it looks like you guys are going to resolve it with the temperance card um, and it's all about divine timing. Okay, something was done in divine timing. Okay, so you guys do care about each other. There's, you both heart chakra is opening up to each other and it's scary for somebody to feel all those emotions and they don't know how to deal with it. So they might react in certain ways. All right, so if you're in recent no contact with somebody right now, Aries, I'm gonna pull their hidden feelings. But if you res resonated with this, you could be connecting with a Taurus, a Libra, um, another Aries, a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Virgo, those are the main ones that want to come through, but it could be any zodiac sign, okay? Please rock that like and subscribe button for your girl, Aries. Whoa, you just got a whole bunch of cards. Should I take them? Uh, yeah, I guess I will, if time permits. Please rock that like and subscribe button for your girl if you would like to book, book a private reading. The link to my website is in the description box below this video. If this reading did not resonate, go check out your August and weekly, monthly, um, your August reading in my August playlist. I go really in depth in the monthlies. I'm trying to move on, but thoughts of you still linger and I can't control them. So someone's having tr trouble moving on from you, Aries, if they're in recent no contact. When times got tough, I gave up on you too soon. That's what I said earlier, but not verbatim. When times get tough, someone just is quick to take off instead of dealing with the emotions and the triggers head on. You can't keep running away from relationships when they challenge us, is what you may want to say to this person. I have awakened to our connection. I know we have a timeless bond between us. You were my home and now I feel like I'm left out in the cold. I wish I could take back the hurtful things I said to you. It was wrong to take out my frustration on you. For some of you, this person came at you like you were the bird and they were the, the, the aggressive cat. and. It was because they were feeling frustrated about something and they want to take it back. You were my sanctuary. You were the only person I could confide in and I betrayed your trust. So that was for you, Aries. I'll check back with you in a few days. Um, also, check out my most recent All Signs reading. I'll link that in the description box below the video because it goes into your person's feelings for you for the next seven days. Just click on the Aries timestamp. All right. Love you guys. Take care.